This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so let's start this EPPM, Enterprise Portfolio Project Management, as for HANA. Understanding. Okay, so my agenda of this session is to explain what is EPPM, Enterprise Portfolio Project Management. Okay, you might be hear this terminology in your job place or from some of recruiter or in some of newsletter that EPPM consultant is required or you might be receive any call job call for this EPPM requirement in any project. So what is exactly EPPM stands for and when we are going to understand from SAP perspective what exactly we are having within EPPM. Okay. Next I'll explain what capabilities are there in SAP EPPM solution, okay? SAP EPPM solution, apart from that, more specifically what we have in the PPM, portfolio and project management. So sometimes people are confused that EPPM and PPM is same, okay? But it's not correct. EPPM, EPPM is a superset, okay? EPPM is a group of modules, like almost four modules, within it so i'll i'll explain in my next slide next is what is fury applications to access the sap ppm and how we can access this transaction how we can do the configuration okay just to access the screen here in today's session we'll understand how we can access the screen only okay in next session we'll go in more deep in last i'll just explain what course contents we are going to cover and what is strategy we are following to write SAP PPM certification? Okay. Uh, what exactly strategy we are we will follow? That I'll again explain after five or six session because that will be more relevant at that time. So first, let us understand what is a EPPM. Okay, Enterprise Portfolio Project Management. But even before understanding EPPM. Let us understand how this EPPM uh, EPPM term terminology arrives. Okay, how what exactly EPPM to understand that we just need to understand some different business cases, business process which we have in SAP. Okay, so first thing is the project type. Okay, we need to understand the project type, what type of projects we are having in SAP. Okay, so here type of projects like when you are saying type of project in sap you might be confused with like whether it is a implementation or support okay so don't go in that side it is more specific to nature of your project okay so when we are going to understand the project type in sap here we are having two major type one is an internally financed project and another is an externally financed project so internally financed project means where organization is financing this project okay for example if organization is looking to do some investment for their own purpose which is required as per their strategy uh, strategic uh, requirement okay in that case that organization will finance that project okay for example if you just want to enhance production of your uh, manufacturing unit so in that case you might be add some additional machine in that particular uh, manufacturing unit or you might be go for new plant construction okay so in that case strategically you are deciding where you need to go exactly like you want to go for the uh, construction of new plant or just you want to enhance you want to modify your existing system to improve your production okay so in that case when you are deciding and then when you are investing to achieve some goals in that case it will become a internally financed project okay externally financed project where you are doing a project for your client for your customer so in that case you will get a order you will get a contract from your customer to execute a project for example you are the it company okay and your customer is looking to implement sap so in that case you are doing this project for your client so in that case this will be financed by customer so here this is your internal project 
which is going to be executed and this is a project which you are executing for your customer so again when you are going forward in internally project we are having investment project and overhead cost project so the example of investment project let's say the same example i have given here the modification of your existing system to improve the production okay so this is just you are doing investment and you know that if i'm putting that much of amount okay and i'll get that much of benefits okay or another example let's say you just want to construct your own office okay so in that case this will become your capital so this will be investment in that case you will not have direct revenue same time so how exactly it is going to be beneficial for you that has to be based on some parameter okay like this calculation has to be done some based on some parameter so the process through which we are calculating whether this particular project is beneficial for us or not that we call pre investment analysis once you are calculating once you are concluding that yes this project will be beneficial for us then only you are going for that project otherwise you are dropping that project okay another kind of project overhead cost project okay for example let's say you are having a uh, huge plant okay and uh, based on the manufacture maintenance recommendation you are doing the maintenance in a certain period in this particular plant okay so what will happen like whatever the resources you are putting whatever the items which you are using for the maintenance okay that will become a direct expenses for you for example let's say if you are putting some mobile oil okay you are doing some oil changes in the machine and in that case that will be direct expenses okay it will not going to add anything in your asset means it is not going to increase the cost of your yeah the value of your asset okay but sometimes like let's say if you are changing any part of that machine okay that will be the reason of changing the increasing the value of your asset so that portion is different but directly to understand over overhead cost project where directly you are putting the amount and it is going to be considered in expenses so when we are going to understand that how exactly this kind of project is going to be managed in sap your multiple modules will be involved there okay it we are in very primary stage to understand what module will be involved or what modules need to be used to implement this kind of scenario but to just understand some vague idea that i have given a provision here so here investment project these are the initial the, the, these projects are having cost initially and uh, that may only generate revenue or provide other uh, benefits after a certain time period okay so that is the investment project for example i have given this uh, this this office construction so directly you will not get the revenue same time this will be calculated based on the pre investment analysis concept and you can say yeah this will be roi for my this investment here we will not have any customer no initial revenue periodic capitalization to auc and final capitalization will happen in asset for example here acquisition of fixed asset investment and research and development okay these kind of projects and here if you are going to implement the iim investment management project system co is controlling ppm is portfolio and project management and cpm is commercial project management these are the modules which are going to be managed which which we need to implement to manage this kind of process now coming to the overhead cost project here there will no revenue okay actual cost will be transferred to expense account or cost center here there will no customer no initial revenue capitalization to cost center like r and d project this is another example of overhead cost project where you are putting some amount for r and d but you are not sure whether any 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 outcome will happen okay that you just given the amount based on some parameters and it's not sure okay if it is 
if it is if it is and if it is there any outcome you can see it's an investment if it is not then directly it will go in expenses here ps co ppm and cpm these are the modules which will be used to implement externally finance project we used to call it as a customer project also this project will be executed based on the customer requirement here it is based on the strategy to execute project to achieve organization goal so this will be these kind of project will be executed to achieve my customers organization goal okay which is aligning with my company goal also okay so we'll discuss in in in, in next uh, slide that what is the organization goal what is vision what is mission all these things we will discuss here we'll have customer revenue will be there capitalization to product or project and the example of this kind of project is engineering construction and operation like another another kind of process is mto make to order project okay where we are uh, just receiving a order to manufacture some final product and based on that we are we are doing assembly or we are manufacturing this this product product so in the, the the implementation here we need to uh, do in ps hd co ppm and cpm yeah so when we are talking about different type of project okay here investment project is there okay customer project is there overhead or cost project is there so when we are going to map the business process we need to use the different modules here okay let's say when i'm talking about ppm when we are talking about investment project so this kind of project can be captured in ppm or investment management and in the project system okay when we are coming to the customer pro customer project this type of project has to be managed in ppm and cpm and ps okay so different different modules are being involved in different project type scenario business process mapping okay so prior to prior to eppm when we were not talking about eppm that we used to tell to my customer that these are the module which has to be implemented for this particular process okay but here what exactly changes happen once this concept of eppm came in the market okay so to avoid this confusion whether we should go for ppm implementation or ps implementation or cpm implementation sap came up with the concept of eppm okay eppm and sap this was new for sap but it was not new for the industry okay this concept is already there in 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 primavera it's there in some other erp system also but here uh, the conceptually it was added once s4 hana was introduced so what we are having within this module this eppm enterprise portfolio and project management it's a group of modules okay it's not a module eppm is not a any single module it's a group of module which is having project system portfolio and project management commercial project management and epc enterprise project connection so let us understand what exactly we are having here okay so this is a project system here in financial this module project system it is focusing on controlling of my project okay this is a controlling module which is integrated with almost your all core modules core modules like material management where you can manage your uh, manage your uh, materials okay when you are you can manage your procurement process okay it is going to be integrated with fico finance and controlling scm human capital management means hr system mrs you can integrate multi resource scheduling cats cross application time sheet hd sales and distribution pp production planning so all core modules can be integrated with project system okay but top on that just to manage at portfolio level here sap has given a module called ppm portfolio and project management so this module is again having two 
sub module called portfolio management and project management okay and ppm entirely is integrated with project system again okay so portfolio management this portion or this sub module is uh is, is providing the functionality to manage your portfolios okay so portfolio will understand what exactly it is stand for and project management whatever the project you are going to execute to achieve the goals of your portfolio we need to manage here in the project management and whatever the reporting is there we can manage it here in analytics so analytics it's inbuilt bi reporting tool okay that is coming with same stack there is no separate bi uh, installation is required and here the business process which is more near to implement through ppm is investment management i investment project investment man project uh, where we can implement most of the functionalities of ppm but it doesn't mean we cannot implement ppm for customer project okay we can implement the ppm for customer project also but the functionality the maximum functionality of ppm you can use in any investment kind of project there is a third component called commercial project management this is the third module so here this module is having three major sub modules called project workspace financial planning and issue and change management okay these are the three major things risk management is basically part of project workspace only and project procurement comes within project workspace only okay so here cpm module is facilitating to manage customer project where we are doing a project to customer where we are getting any contract from my customer or let's say from starting when even i am getting any rfq from my customer and then we are analyzing we are we are preparing a quotation and then we are submitting it to customer then it is going to be finalized once it is finalized it's awarded to us then we are going to create a formal contract so it's helping us from initial stage to 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 manage our customer project we are having very rich functionality within cpm and it's very complicated technically very complicated to understand and to implement also okay and fourth is enterprise project connection this module is helping us to integrate our project system to primavera and msp okay so here primavera is oracle product and msp is the microsoft product it's a third party and we can integrate these tools these these uh, system to project system through epc enterprise project connection okay so here we are the four modules project system portfolio and project management cpm commercial project management and epc enterprise project connection these are the four module combinedly which we are calling eppm so when any requirement is coming in market okay as a eppm consultant they are expecting that if the person is not expert at least he should be aware the process where going to be exactly it is integrated within eppm okay so here in this course we are going to focus on ppm this portion portfolio and project management and we are having certification ppm and we are having certification project system here we don't have any certification for cpm and epc so if you are planning to write certification so you can focus on ppm first and then you can go for project system Okay. Any question here, please? Yeah, Rama Sudhakar here. Yeah. You said that uh, EPP uh, Enterprise uh, Project Connection, connection only with the PS, or we connect to other PPM, CPM also? Uh, see, uh, it, it's EPC used to be integrate to orders. Okay, uh -huh. here. Uh, and uh, here we are having see actually directly we don't have any standard integration with ppm mm -hmm. okay and cpm 
we are having integration with project system and plant maintenance plant okay. maintenance is also there right? yeah so one more. you said the eppm is composed of four modules the ps ppm cpm and what was the last one epc enterprise project connection okay, okay? okay. so we are starting from here okay so next is uh, rama one second uh, if you have to connect the ppm and cpm with the microsoft project or uh, p6 is it a customization require or any uh, separate function modules you have to write uh, see actually uh, you will not get this kind of requirement Mm -hmm. when you are coming when you are coming to uh, ppm okay if you want to integrate with msp there is a standard solution is there directly mm -hmm. from ppm you can transfer your project structure to msp the standard solution is there there is no need to go for epc even okay okay to... but, for but for primavera but for primavera integration we can go for the custom solution but it's this kind of requirement is very rare okay Okay, and coming to the commercial project management, here once you will understand the business process in CPM, actually when you are going to work in CPM, that has to be integrated with PS. Your 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 controlling your end transaction has to happen in PS only. Okay. Okay. So finally, when you are going to work on a structure level, yeah, work breakdown structure level, that will remain in PS itself. Here in okay. CPM only, it will show you will not be able to perform any 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 financial transaction on it okay, okay? even confirmation and everything will happen in the ps itself cpm okay. is helping us to just visualize 360 degree view of my project got you so i'll just keep one session in once we will finish this project management part i'll just explain how it is going to uh, integrate with cpm in that case in that session i'll i'll explain that epc how it is helping us through PS to CPM to PPM. Okay, thank you. Rama, uh, so you said um, if we can build the projects in, in project system and we can also do the same in project portfolio project management, what is the difference between the two projects if we build it in project or in PPM? In PS sure, PPM. I'll, I'll, I'll answer this question. Okay, let me just finish this PPT. I'll some of questions will be answered here. Okay. What is the difference and what kind of project we supposed to do in the portfolio and project management? Okay. So let me explain this slide and I'll explain this specifically. So here, when we are going to understand EPPM, these are the three major module. Fourth is EPC, which is helping us to integrate our EPPM to Primavera or MSP. Okay. So project system, what exactly it is giving us? It is given controlling functionality to my project. Okay. It's giving us accounting assignment objects. Okay. Where you can do account assignment. Like you can post, you can plan the cost. You can plan the revenue. You can post the cost. You can post the revenue. Integration with other core modules. So you can directly integrate with other mod modules like for procurement, you can integrate with MM. For sales, you can integrate with SD. For financial and controlling, you can integrate with FICO. For plant maintenance, you can integrate with PM. So it's integrating with other core, core module. It's being used to manage project detail planning and execution. So when you are going to plan your project in detail, this has to be in project system. Okay, and final execution will happen in project system only okay because this is going to be integrated with other controlling modules okay but this facility is not there in ppm okay in ppm when you are managing your project okay to post any cost it has to be integrated with any controlling object like your ps project wbs element or internal order Okay, that is the 
first major differences where you are going to understand this so here project system it is giving us accounting assignment object and here in ppm we are having two sub modules one is a portfolio management another is a project management portfolio management it's giving us a portfolio structure pre investment analysis like before even starting any project we need to just understand whether it is going to help us as per our business goals is it really adding anything in my goal of the organization financial and capacity planning we can do revenue revenue and review and simulation we can do integration with accounting okay here why i'm writing integration with accounting i'll tell you this integration with accounting means you are going to integrate either to ps project or to internal order it is not giving it is not facilitating directly like it is not going to be uh, uh, provide anything to post directly next is project management here it is giving us a project structure <clears throat> role based resource planning task role based cost and revenue rates integration with accounting work confir confirmation through cats here when we are executing any project in ppm as per sap recommendation okay this supposed to be it project okay it project where we are having resources and we are going to manage these resources so role based resources we can assign to my project okay and when we are going to integrate for accounting anyway it has to go to ps so this is the difference here are you getting it yes so you said top to down okay. so, so when we are understanding top to down this complete organization first we are having higher management then middle management okay and middle level management and third is a project management where exactly it is going to be executed so how it is exactly your higher management is going to work in this portion portfolio management and requirement is going to generate from here your final approval and everything has to be initiated from portfolio management and if you want to manage your resources internally in detail then better to go for project management in ppm otherwise directly you can go to project system to manage your project finally for execution okay we will go in more detail here to understand that how exactly we need to implement we need to understand the requirement and how it will be implemented so Rama, initial level, yeah one question in in our previous sessions i had that you said in one of your session without portfolio management also we can implement project management so that i need to have some clarity in the next session okay uh, no worry uh, it's it's clear see this is a, this is one module portfolio project yeah. management okay previously this portfolio management was xrpm accelerated resource portfolio management and project management was c project yeah. in most of the project these two modules were being implemented together so sap came up with solution by keeping these two modules in a in a one module okay, okay. so we started to call it as a ppm but still any in internally that how it is going to integrate it is still the same okay the communication is happening through rfc and all okay. so apart from that if you want to directly manage your project without going to uh, do all these pre investment analysis or let's say if you don't want to keep it in structure you don't want to go for capacity financial planning in that case directly you can implement project management also okay okay and it has to be activated when we are when we are Act, when we are in, when we are installing the sap system okay which you want to go which hmm. which which component so can you show us the sfw5 which components we need to activate for we'll come, we'll come. it's it's very initial stage let me just yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the concept in the when you go in further levels thank yeah, you yeah yeah so let me let me finish at least five to six session your yeah. most of the question will be answered automatically i mm -hmm. know that what exactly questions will arise okay so i am already having this list how i need to uh, explain in the sequence so you can easily understand 
the oh. most the 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 most challenging part of SCP PPM to understand here because the objects are very scattered here yeah. and there. So when you are going to study from book or let's say when you are going to study individually these objects, it's, it's very difficult to correlate as per my business process. So let yeah. us focus on business process first and how exactly the object is being used in PPM solution. Then we'll go in more detail to understand how you can activate what is the meaning of sub this technical name like ppm pfm ppm pro okay how we can check at least we can check in the system what are the business functions activated for this so we'll come come to it okay thank you okay yeah so next is uh commercial project management as i explained that commercial project management is having three sub component one is a work space which is having 360 degree workspace view of project. So there is a there is a workspace screen dashboard in CPM system where you can see everything starting from like your what is your project, what is your risk on this project, okay, what is the financial plan value, what is the actual value, okay, and whatever the commitment value. These are the KPIs you can maintain here in the dashboard. Okay, so as a project manager, you can just see the the in and out by looking into you can just analyze in and out by looking into this dashboard team planning you can do risk management you can do here activity assignment status and review so you can you can see the status of your project what are the risks are there okay trends what is the trends of your project as per current scenario okay and you can review the project next is cost and revenue planning here detail integrated cost and revenue planning you can do and analysis office interface for planning so here it's based on the excel you can directly plan the value in analysis office and it will be directly embedded with your data in cpm system issue and change management here you can manage your issue of the project and if any changes is coming in your cost and time of the project you can manage it through change request process Okay, so I hope that concept of EPPM and the major modules and their functionalities in what what are the major functionalities of these modules? These are the clear. If you have any question here to just more explanation, detail it out, just let me know. So I'll explain it and then I'll go to the next. Yeah, one question. Uh, if the PPM commercial project management, if they have the capability as an account assignment, then PS is not required. Am I right? But unfortunately, it's not there. The, yeah. But... The design, the design of uh, uh, the modules are same. Like yeah, I agree. The purpose of designing is different. Yeah, but that's the only one uh, drawback. Is missing missing component is in the PPM and CPM. I noticed that they can't assign but, it. But it's very difficult to add these many this much of. Uh, functionality what we are having in PS to include directly in CPM or PPM. So SAP has given a provision to assign PS project to PPM or CPM and uh, just utilize all the functionality of PS. It's the same. Yeah. Right. And now it's a part of the same core system. Now EPPM is a part of core. Yes. It's not yes. an add-on as of now. So yes. you can just use maximum functionality for your business process. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now coming to the project program and portfolio. Okay, so when we are talking about portfolio management is there somewhere, project management is somewhere there. Okay, let us understand what exactly these are. Okay. So first is a portfolio here. Portfolio is a collection of project and similar program that are managed as a group to achieve strategic objectives. Okay, so what happened? in any organization when they are forming forming it they are having their purpose they are having their goals okay mission and vision of the organization so to achieve these mission and vision of the organization they need to execute some task they need to do something so to do something they are executing the projects okay and here they are keeping a similar type of project or similar type of program in a portfolio for example, if I'm taking example of portfolio Godrej properties, 
so by looking into it you can see these are the this is the real estate company they are in the construction of commercial project and residential project and when they are saying commercial project individually they need to execute commercial project like malls construction retail market construction and when we are talking about residential project they might go for single tower construction or a complete town town township construction so what you are doing here this is a one portfolio which is having two different programs okay and these two different programs are having similar type of projects within it so combinedly what we are saying the portfolio is a group of or collection of similar project or or similar similar type of programs and here program is a group of projects that are similar or related to one another and which are often managed and coordinated as a group instead of independently so when i am saying yes these are four different commercial project i am doing so i can say this is a commercial program commercial project program or commercial construction projects and individual project is a temporary end endeavor undertaken by a company or organization so we are having a very typical definition for project that we'll see later stage but initially to just understand the concept of portfolio program and project is this only that portfolio is having similar type of projects and similar type of programs within it okay and program is a group of similar type of project which are correlated which are interrelated to each other okay uh let me go for business case directly now just a second okay let me go directly to business case then i'll come to uh this typical definition here okay now you can see my screen business case so why we need sap ppm how exactly it is helping us in our business okay that is the major question okay when you are going to any customer and when you are just introducing ppm that this is the functionality which we are having in ppm then this is the this is the big question that client will ask okay whatever you are explaining that is fine but how exactly it is helping okay what exactly it will add into my business process okay so in that case you need to just understand why exactly we needed ppm okay and what is the purpose of sap ppm implementation so i have taken one business case here okay this business case i just kept it based on organization called godrej okay so godrej group this is very big group in india okay and they are in it as a godrej infotech they are as a godrej consumer products they are having and they are having godrej properties okay so what we are doing in godrej properties when they have uh, established this company as a legal entity that time they have just defined their vision and mission okay so this vision and mission is nothing it's just goal the purpose of company formation okay so to achieve this vision and mission or goals of the organization they need to follow some business strategy just by defining vision and mission they cannot achieve directly okay they have to do they have to follow some business strategy to achieve this vision and mission of the organization and to follow the business strategy they need to follow some strategic rule to achieve vision and mission of the organization okay so these all things are interlinked okay for example when i'm saying when i'm reading vision and mission of this organization what they are saying we aspire to be among the nation's top 3 real estate companies while continuing to be the most trusted name in the industry so means if they are saying that we just want to become a more most trusted organization as a real estate company to provide best quality product to my customer in that case they have to follow some business strategies okay what they are saying we shall deliver superior value to all stakeholders through extraordinary and imaginative spaces created out of deep customer focus and insight so this means whatever the statement they are defining here in the vision and mission of the 
organization to achieve that they have to follow some rules okay so what rules they are following they are setting to achieve this vision and mission they are saying that we will do premium residential project okay just for example like if you see the godrej property this company this real estate organization they are more focusing on the residential only they don't have malls they don't have a specific retail retail shop only they are just keeping within like within township only within residential house their re residential township they are having some some commercial space they don't have any separate malls and all so what they are focusing they already clear they are already clear in their mind they just want to focus on residential with premium location so if you see their project always it will be on the premium location okay so they are having their own customer base they are already targeting even customer that this kind of the customer we need okay so to keep that customer to retain this customer they will provide quality okay they will provide the quality and on time delivery so here quality and on time delivery it is required for this line okay we shall deliver superior value to all stakeholders through extraordinary and imaginative space created out so they, whatever the mission and vision they are having that strategic rule has to be aligned with that and here best customer experience with all committed delivery okay so strategic rule they are following to achieve vision and mission of the organization okay so when they are going to start any project okay so before even starting this project they need to analyze the project whether it is fitting as per our strategy as per strategic rule to achieve my vision and mission of the organization or not okay for example let's say if they are going to start a new residential project in meerut for example okay and it's very outer side of the city for example let's say uh, around 20 kilometers away from meerut and they are just going with some small township okay so in that case they need to understand what type of uh, what exactly they are having in the vision and mission what exactly they want to achieve from it if it is not fitting as per their business requirement as per their strategic rule they will not go for it so tomorrow let's say if someone is telling them to better you just construct some school or some bridges okay or because this is also one kind of construction but it is not fitting as per their strategic rule okay so they will not go for it and even before starting they will do the pre investment analysis whether it is helping us to just adding any any value or to add any financial uh, value in my in my organization or not so here ppm is helping us to to find out the project so what ppm is helping us it is helping us to align portfolio with corporate goals so when you are going to initiate any project you we need to do some pre investment analysis based on some parameters okay then if it is fulfilling all the parameters then only will go for it selection of suitable project based on success factor real time visibility of financial plan and actual data so when we are planning it okay and once it is approved then it is it will go for execution so whatever the actual data is coming from execution and what is the plan data is there you can just visualize same time both the things okay so it is giving you the complete view of your project resource planning and visibility of resources here in ppm system we are having very detailed resource planning okay where based on the roles you can assign the different resources to your project okay and you can see the very detailed report for these resources alignment with other business perspectives means how it is going to hit your financials how it is going to exactly manage your procurement everything will be integrated here through ppm to ps okay so ppm to ps to other module okay but to just as a generic whatever the transaction we are doing in execution that directly can be reflected as a total into ppm so any question here ah uh, so if you join a project that is already a brownfield and ongoing 
you may not know the vision and the mission of the project or something like that, or maybe you will eventually, but um, does that affect anything that you do? Let's say you're building your portfolio or how do you, how do you proceed to, to build a portfolio structure or, you know, the things that you have to yeah. build for them? If you don't yes, know the, I... Got it, got it. See, actually, we are talking about here from the business perspective, not from SAP implementation perspective. If it is a brownfield, in that case, when you are discussing uh, when uh, greenfield or brownfield, okay? So in that case, you will discuss your concept, what exactly portfolio, portfolio structure you are having here to your business, okay? And accordingly, you need to decide this. We'll come on this part once we'll go for uh, this portfolio overview understanding in that case we'll go in more detail to understand on what basis we need to decide these portfolio structure and all okay yeah so sure i was mute okay 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 so when we have gone through with this business case just let us understand what uh what exactly the PPM definition is, okay? So this is the SAP PPM portfolio and project management. Let us go one by one to understand line wise line. Okay, SAP portfolio project management provides the approach of selection, prioritization and control of an organization's project and program in line with its strategic objective and capacity to deliver. So it's clear through our business case, we understand that how exactly PPM is helping us to select a project, prioritize the project, okay? And aligning with my strategic objectives and capacity to deliver. SAP PPM integrates information from existing project management, human resource and financial system to provide an overview of the project portfolio and resource availability, okay? So this is helping us to uh to integrate with other uh modules to manage your resources for example when you are going to manage your resources here that resource has to be integrated it has to come from scm okay hr to manage here so these are the key functions of sap ppm it is helping us to align portfolio with corporate goals it is helping us to maximize the value of portfolio okay because if we are doing pre-investment analysis if we are doing if we are analyzing a project before it's starting and we can finalize whether it is beneficial for us or not so if it is not we can drop same time we can cancel it okay so it means it is maximizing the value of portfolio it is helping us to maximize the value use your resources more eff effectively so once we'll understand how we can assign the resources to my project there are three different ways okay so we can we can use our resources more effectively based on when exactly the resource is available okay availability based on the qualification we can fetch the resources suitable resources for us or based on the location we can fetch okay so qualification and availability and location these are the three major factors through which we can find the resources and we can assign to the project Real-time visibility of project cost, commitment, revenue, capacity requirement, scheduling, staffing, and results. So we'll understand that how exactly these activities need to be used. Intuitive effective gates and measures between project phases. So when we are executing any project, so this has to go with the phases. Okay, so here in PPM, we used to call it as a phases or stage gates okay or decision points so individually you can see in particular phase or in particular uh, uh, this this decision point or stage gates whatever the activities need to be performed so once it is done then we can move to next selection of suitable project based on calculation calculated success factor so this is part of pre-investment analysis this functionality is available in im also investment management this is a core module which is directly integrated with PS, okay, tightly integrated. Here we are having functionality to assign and deploy, redeploy, plan and forecast resource based on the qualification, location, availability, and strategic priorities. 
so these are the key functions of sap ppm Uh, there are some business functions here in SAP PPM. I'll come later to explain these business functions. Okay, uh, let me go next. Yeah, so let us understand what exactly is portfolio, what is portfolio structure, okay? So just understand, just let us understand this one. Okay, this is a Godrej group. This is a Godrej group of companies, okay, and uh, which is having different uh, companies within it, like Godrej Infotech, Godrej Properties, Godrej Consumer Product, and uh, within Godrej Properties, we are having commercial project and we are having residential project. So when we are going to manage our portfolio, as I explained, that similar type of project has to be within same program, okay, and finally it has to be within the same portfolio okay so what we can do here when we are going to decide what will be my portfolio or what will be my bucket okay that is totally depend on the business requirement okay but here i have just given idea we'll go in more detail in next sessions so here this godrej group is a portfolio definition and these are the buckets okay so bucket is nothing it's just a group of project you can say okay so bucket is a group of buckets and group of project so here this is a bucket level one this is a bucket level one and this is also bucket level one and within this bucket level one we are having again further two buckets called commercial project and residential project so my final project will be attached to here commercial project or residential project or here godrej consumer product or godrej infotech we can have project at last level of bucket hierarchy and this complete structure we are calling it is a portfolio standard structure okay so when we are going further to understand exactly okay this is one more example i have taken here we are having ppm portfolio definition then again we are having bucket one bucket two sorry bucket level one and then next level of bucket this is very important to understand here okay what is exactly this means okay you will have some uh, new terminology from ppm side here to understand so this is your organization objective to align with objectives you are having portfolio definition which is having next level of buckets like if you can see this is level one this is level one level two level two and here you can have initiatives okay initiative is nothing just to understand in this stage you can say it's a idea so whenever any idea need to be generated okay this will go a uh, multiple stage of approval once it is done then only you are going to execute a project so to execute a project the portfolio item is my project and this portfolio item can be integrated directly to project ps project or ppm project and this ppm project directly will be integrated to internal order or to ps project and scm and msp and mrs okay so this is to just give you idea we'll go in more detail to understand what is a portfolio what is a bucket what is the initiative what is the item how we can create in the system how we can navigate everything we'll understand this is to just give you one understanding one complete idea that what exactly we are having in ppm so wherever you see this color this is my ppm and wherever this color is there this is out of ppm okay Rama, so you said you can do resource planning in 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 ppm and you can also do it in ps is there any difference in doing your resource planning um way of, way, of, way of doing is different here in ps you don't don't have rules right here based on the organization unit you are assigning the users but here in ppm we are having resource planning based on the rules for example let's say if i'm if i'm doing it project 
okay so in it project i need two ppm consultant two cpm consultant one quality consultant so in that case i can create a roles okay that is not pfcg role this is my project specific role okay so i can create a uh, ppm consultant role cpm consultant role and based on that i can find suitable consultant suitable resource from the system okay so here my resource planning is based on the roles you mean your resource planning is based on the roles in where in ps or are we talking about ppm ppm ppm, PPM. PPM. okay in ps it based on the organization unit okay okay another thing, another thing another thing you said and before we move on to the next slide um you said uh so we do the financial and capacity planning in ppm but we do cost management in ps are yes. they not what are they not one and the same thing financial planning and cost management is it not one and the same thing or is it different it is the same thing ppm only you are using to uh, planning at initial level at overall level but when you are going for detailed planning you have to come into ps okay, okay? for example if i am saying my my infrastructure cost so in infrastructure cost let's say it's a 20 million usd so to detail it out in what infrastructure cost what how exactly you want to execute this cost for example uh, 2 million will be uh, for my uh, server installation and all. Okay, well, 1 million for my uh, like server room construction, for example. So one by one at detail level, it has to be managed in PS. And execution will also happen in the PS only. So as and when you are performing the transaction in PS, let's say any cost is coming based on the procurement, that you can see directly in PPM. So PPM is will work as a dashboard to see the details here. So overall planning you are doing in here in the PPM, detail planning you are doing in the PS, execution you are doing in the PS, okay, PS, and then your all cost is flowing from PS back to PPM. So your higher management is going to see, they are more interested to see the, the overall value, not the detail. They just want to see how much, how much was my plan for infrastructure and how much is uh, spent and how much is remained, right? They don't want to go in more detail for that. So PPM, where my higher management will concentrate to see the details and at elementary level, how it is going to be managed, detail level that has to be managed in peer project system. Okay, so um, overall overall planning in PPM and detail planning in PS, and then it Correct. flows back to PPM. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let me stop it here today, okay? And uh, in next session, I will start from uh, portfolio and uh, navigation to the system, okay? Because as per my uh, agenda only, the system navigation is left, okay? So let's understand in next session how we can access the SAP system, okay? And how exactly we can perform the initial transaction in SAP PPM system, okay? Okay, Rama, so before, um... If there are no more slides, so so you um, you become a PPM cons EPPM consultant, and um, that's that's your work domain. Um, and you, seeing that EPPM is a is a an overall model for sub modules, we have project management, portfolio management, and um, um, I think resource management. So you become that go to person who builds all these structures, or what is the role? Yeah. So PPM consultant, see when you are called now, companies are calling it as an EPPM, but they are giving the JD job description where they exactly need their more detailed job. Okay. For example, let's say I'm saying EPPM consultant who's having good experience in portfolio management and integration with project system and SCM. Okay. So here CPM is not nowhere, right? But still mm -hmm. we are calling it as an EPPM consultant. In some of places, you will see the job like we need a EPPM consultant who's having experience of workspace, okay, and issue and change management, and how the procurement process. So you just need to understand that which portion is coming in which area. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
so project system already you are having idea in ppm once you are covering you will you can directly say yeah, you are the eppm consultant but there are so many things which we need to understand from ppm side and ps side to be more strong and to say that yes i'm the having experience in eppm okay okay so thank you let me stop the recording